Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to show you a real quick little program or an app for your phone. You can I've got it on a monitor here that uh, I use for um, checking the wind speeds and direction uh, before I go fishing on the coast. As you can see it's um, windfinder.com and um, I've got it, let's zoom in down here on Lake Charles. And I've got a couple of places marked here. That's me in Cameron, Louisiana, and there's the Gulf of Mexico right down here. And right here is Calcasieu Pass. It's showing right now that the winds are the south southeast at eight miles an hour. And you can go to the forecast for Calcasieu Pass, and it'll show you the um, all the wind direction for by hour and speed and gusts. It'll come down here and tell you air temperature air pressure, wave direction, wave height, wave period, which is very important if you guys, uh, for you guys that fish in salt water. Um, the tide, whether it's up, going up, down, it's at peak or it's at low tide, uh, the tide height and feet, and, and of course, and then it, again, it tells you the wind speed and gusts um, in the forecast section. Then you can come up here and go to report, right here, right there, and uh, it'll tell you what it has been, and it's just got a, lot, a whole lot of data for you, and you can go back to your maps over here and check another spot, in fact you can check pretty much any spot, I've just got two stations that I, that I use, uh, here's here's the uh, West Cove one in Kakasu Lake, it's seven miles an hour, it's a little further inland than the pass, and uh, of course, there's not a lot blocking the wind down there. I can tell you that it's a, it's flat. Um, and then you can just find you a, you can just find a place on the lake. Let's say I just want to fish right here at Long Point. You know, I just clicked right there, and right now it's uh, six miles an hour, and it's uh, wind directions out of the south southeast, 167 degrees. And you can do it anywhere, but it's got these stations, and it's a pretty pretty neat little app you can put on your phone. You don't even need an app. I, you can just use your browser and go to windfinder.com and it'll even do it on inland lakes too. Let me come back. Let me zoom out a little bit past Lake Charles and let's go up to Toledo Bend Reservoir, which is right here. And uh, right now at this particular location, it's six miles an hour wind direction. Look at it, it's out of the south here, which is a little. And you know, this is like it says, it's good for kite servers, wind servers, servers, sailors. Um, and I think it goes all the way into the interior of the United States. It's fairly accurate. Let's find a lake over here near Dallas. Let's try Lake Fork here. Let's see what we have on Fork. I guess that's Fork. Uh, let's try and let's see what's going on right there. Nine miles an hour. Now the south southeast. Lake Tawakini, 10 miles an hour. Hmm, kind of windy up north. And stay down on the coast where we belong, don't we? Anyway, you, and it, it's a it's a good little app, good little program. It's a it's a great little website. And um, I mean, you can even give. Let me show you something else. Hang on, let me zoom back out. Let's go to Houston. Go to Galveston. I'll tell you what. Let's go to Port Aransas. This is, I like to fish down here too. Uh, Port Aransas right here. Now watch this. I can come over here on the right. I don't know if you can see that, if my camera's picking that up or not. I'll move this rascal a little bit. And you can, I can turn the particles on right here on the right. And you see it, it, it'll show you which way the wind's blowing. And that's kind of cool. And let's see, where is it right here? There's a spot right there. Ran just past jetty, 17 miles an hour. Don't really want to be fishing right there at the end of the jetties right now. But that's kind of cool. I'm going to turn that thing off because it just distracts me. Anyway, be able to go off. There it goes. All right. Anyway, I just want to pass that on. I hope that's helpful to someone. Um, we use it quite often and it's pretty accurate in its reports and its forecasts. Um, it's within a couple of knots usually, when, especially when the winds are high. 
Um, and you can see I've got my two spots marked here where I usually fish um, down here at Calcasu, Calcasu Lake, or Big Lake they call it, down south of Lake Charles. And it's, it's been very, very helpful. Uh, it lets you know if you want to sleep in that morning when you get down there. And, you know, usually when we go down, we, we plan on about three days, and um, we know we're going to get one good fishing day out of three, and that's just the way it is. I don't like it any more than anybody else likes it, but uh, that's pretty much the way it is. So this has been a very helpful tool and kind of helped us plan our, plan our stuff, our, our, our trips a little better. Okay, hope that helps somebody. You guys... Uh, if you, if you appreciated it, if you liked it, hit the like button for me and uh, comment and subscribe and take a friend fishing, uh, take your wife fishing, take your girlfriend fishing, take your wife and your girlfriend fishing. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. And above all, take a child fishing. I'd rather have them, I know we'd all rather have our kids fishing than doing some of the things that they do these days. And uh, keep tight lines. Till next time. Thanks. Blues man out.